If you've been looking for cheap and reliable coins over EAFC24, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. As usual, they've got great discounts on their website and you can get an extra 5% when you use my code MARTIN. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another EAFC24 video. And today we're having a look at the best attackers in the game right now, which I can tell you is not easy to do. It's not easy to select. For clarity, no icons, no heroes, okay? So just your normal real life players, if you like. And to kick things off, we have a female, not just any old female. We have got Sophia Smith team of the season. I mean, to be honest, is one of the cards that I've come to like more and more and more and more as the year has gone on. Her cards in general. Yeah, I didn't know anything about her at the start of the game. But now she's right up there for me in terms of strikers that I would recommend. Five-star weak foot. She's blistering pace, mainly because of the quick step. Yeah. But great for dribbling. She's got that low centre of gravity. But also, she's not weak. You know, the physical stats are pretty decent. So, yeah, she makes the list all day long for me. As does this guy. We've got Erling Haaland. To be honest, you could go for the team of the year, the team of the season. Um, they're very, uh, very similar. Um, but you know what you're getting with Haaland. And, look... I wouldn't. I would disagree. I don't. I've heard people say that there's an aerial meta this year. I wouldn't say that it's a meta. I would just say that it's another way of scoring. Um, but I think because it hasn't been in the past, people are, are more fixated on it. If that makes sense. But if you are good at that, or you are set up for that type of play, and as you saw a few months ago in the E Premier League, um, Haaland is an absolute menace and joke. Because he has um, attributes that hardly anyone else has. Six foot five, just absolute brute strength. The heading accuracy, the finishing, the shot power, you name it, he's got it. Ah, then we've got Lauren James. No, I'm going to be dead serious here. And so when I first came up against her, and this doesn't happen very often, I was like, whoa, who is this? Um, and yeah, sure enough, some of my coaching clients have ended up using her and if, of course if you are interested in getting better at the game my email address is on screen please feel free to get in touch um and she's the real deal five five foot nine so a good height you know uh five star five star and just electric going forward absolutely electric couldn't recommend her enough <laughs> that brings us on to hansen did more and more females coming into these videos which i like now i'm gonna be completely honest I watched her in real life for the first time, maybe um, two or three weeks ago, in the Women's Champions League final. Wow! She impressed me so, so much. And she's just as good in-game. Got the team of the season, um, or the team of the year. I think the team of the season has a few more play styles. Um, there's a reason why she would be in a lot of pro teams. And yeah, she's just unreal in those forward areas. Enough said. The next one is Lionel Messi. It's not going to take much for me to uh, say about this. Obviously, five-star weak foot. When you have a five-star weak foot on a Messi card, he's one of the best players in the game. Um, understand that full-on sprinting is not his game, but in tight areas, he will be absolutely majestic for you with the uh, R1 dribbling, technical dribbling, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, what would I do? You, you, you're swaying between a hunter or a hawk. A hawk will improve the strength and the aggression. It will also uh, boost your shot power. Uh, but it'll only take the sprint speed to 90. So it just depends what you want to do. Do you want extra strength or do you want extra pace? <laughs> then we've got Killian Mbappe. I'm sure a lot of you would have known that he would have been on this list. I'm not going to go into him too much depth. Um, although it's still wrangles with me that he, if you've got him on his left foot it, it's not lethal you know I'm just just putting it out there obviously utterly unreal insane card but yeah you know the price that he always is doesn't have that five star weak foot unlike this girl Alex Morgan the do, do you know what the females that are in this video are just as good if not better than the males they really really are 
So you've got Alex Morgan here, she's five foot six, so good height, that lovely low center of gravity that I always talk about. Five star weak foot. She's gonna twist and turn for you and to just finish on either foot. And again, the fit with the physicals, she's not weak. If you had a male with those stats and it's five foot six, their physical stats would be poor. For me, that's the difference, you know. Then we've got Sui, Cristiano Ronaldo, who's going into um, Euro 2024. Um, incredible, I think he's 39 now. That is just uh, utterly insane. So well done to him. And I hope that he does really, really well. Um, and of course, this is his team of the season card, which is lethal. Um, and very similar to cards that he's had before, to be quite honest with you. So we won't go into it. However, however, I'm recording this before the Euros have started. And Portugal had a warm-up game against Ireland. And he smashed one in with his left foot. And I saw a few things online saying, this is why he should have a five-star weak foot. Do you know what? I agree. Absolutely, he should. Next one on our list is Chawinga, who, I'm not going to lie, is a player I know hardly anything about. But I know that a lot of people have been enjoying this card big time, and I can see why. Five-star, five-star, five for eight, lovely height. All the stats in the world you could hope for. And in terms of, like, the, with the play style, it's got the quick step play style plus and the rapid, and at five for eight, Five star, five star with that pace and the finishing. Danger, absolute danger. Then we've got a little magician, Dybala, team of the season. He's so good, man. His, his left stick's just like Messi's, you know? Five star, five star. He's just gonna pick defenses apart for you. That R1 dribbling's just gonna be absolutely nuts. It really, really is. And then we've got our token gesture uh, Neymar card that we always get from EA. Although we want it. People want it. Let's be real about this. His dribbling stats, well, his dribbling is arguably the best in the game. Yeah, it always is. And this card's no different. He's five star, five star from the start anyway. Um, lots of good play styles that are going to uh, help with his, um, the way that he plays, particularly with the dribbling. And just, yeah, if you pack him, just have fun because he's going to be so, so good for you. And then last, but by no means least, because I can't include everybody. And I, I had Usman Dembele or Bukai Saka that I was going to put in. And you'd say, I'll put both in, but then there's always someone else to put in. And I put Saka in. Probably half because I'm English. Um, but the other reason was because as a uh, UEFA Euro Path to Glory card... I'm hoping, anyway, that he's going to get a lot of upgrades. So it's obviously, I mean, as an English fan, this Saka card's got that five-star weak foot, uh, which makes a big difference for me on these Saka cards. And just tremendous stats. Uh, nice. Do you know what, as well? Like, when you look at this, you could play him in different positions. He, could, If you were playing a midfield three, he could play as, like, the left centre mid. You know, put a shadow on him all day long. Happy days. Or an anchor, even. Yeah, put an anchor on him. He plays CDM for you. So, um, but yeah, what, what a card. Absolutely wonderful stuff. So, guys, there we have it for me. They are the best attackers in the game. Hope that you've enjoyed that and it's helped you out in some way. If it has, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.